one picture is worth a thousand words. That's why visualizing data and model results is a crucial skill for any data scientist. SJPlot package became my favorite tool for visualization. That's why I want to share with you some simple but very effective commands, which will make you more productive today. So let's visualize which dataset, visualize a bunch of models and see what people earn and what factors determine the salary. View data frame function with only four arguments, your data, show frequencies, show percentages, and show missing values displays a range of numeric variables and the counts plus percentages of missing values and categorical variables, giving you a nice big picture of your data. However, we often want to see an actual picture. For example, display frequencies and percentages of categorical variables on a bar plot. For that, sjplot provides a convenient plot frequencies function, which does just that. For instance, plotting education shows that around 9% of people in our data did not finish a high school, while around 14% have a PhD. Since sjplot package works with tidyverse, we can easily group the data by any other categorical variable, let's take race, and get frequencies and percentages for every group. Plot grid function puts several subplots in a single plot and even names the subplots. For instance, a subplot C shows that most of Afro-Americans in our dataset are highly educated. And of course, you can save this publication-ready plot with, surprise, surprise, save plot function. While seeing counts and percentages of separate groups is cool, we sometimes want to put groups directly near each other. And that's exactly what plot grouped frequencies function does. For instance, it clearly shows that most of the people with lower education degrees work in factories, while folks with higher education degrees work with information. This is already useful. However, plot x stop function goes one step further and displays percentages of job classes inside of every educational degree as stacked bars where counts are identical to the previous plot, but every educational category is 100%. Such display only reinforces our hypothesis that highly educated folks usually work in the IT and shows a clear association between job class and education. And if that were not enough, plot Xtop even tests this hypothesis with the chi-square test of association and displays a significant p-value and a large effect size. So, plot xtop essentially visualizes cross tables, also known as pivot tables. And if for some reason you want an actual table with the results of a statistical test, you can use tab xtop function instead. But enough about counting. Since our dataset is about salaries, let's figure out who earns more, industrial or information workers. Plot frequencies function, which we use for counting, can also easily answer this question if we give it a wage variable, tell it to plot a histogram, to show an average with standard deviation, and to display a normal curve to see whether our salaries are normally distributed. This visualization reveals that industrial workers get $103,000 on average, while IT crowd gets $17,000 more. The last thing I'd like to share with you before we visualize models is a visualization of Likert scale data. If you have some scales or categories across different variables, plot Likert function nicely compares percentages of scales or categories across those variables. Visualizing data is cute, but let's get to the really cool visualization stuff. Plot model function is the actual reason I love SJplot package. I'll literally use it every day. For example, if I want to know how education influences salary, I'll plot predictions from a simple linear model. Plotting predictions immediately tells me the story. Namely, people who did not even finish a high school have the lowest salary compared to any other education level. Moreover, we can see that increasing education level means increasing salaries. So, education matters. The only thing we can't see from this plot is whether this increase is significant or not. We could use a well-known summary table for that, 
but the output, although useful, is not really pleasing to the human eye and is not suitable for publication. Luckily for us, plot model with the argument show values equals true transforms a boring summary table into this informative picture, which shows the increase in salary in thousands of dollars as compared to no education with 95% confidence intervals and significant stars, which indicate that those increases in salaries are significant. However, sometimes we still need to report the summary table but we need to make it look better. And that's where tab model command comes into play. Within tab model, we can show the reference level, hide the intercept, and change the style of B values. But the most amazing thing about plot model and tab model functions is that they work with almost any type of model you can imagine. I successfully used it for mixed effect models, Bayesian models, or negative binomial models, to name a few and the authors of the package constantly improve the functionality, so that, at the moment you watch this video, sjplot package is most likely improved. Here is an example of how easy we can visualize a very fancy model, namely a generalized linear mixed effects regression for negative binomial distribution of age with three-way interaction term and a random effect of education. These interactions show that industrial workers with a very good health earn $50,000 already at the age of 31, while IT crowd gets to the same salary circa 8 years later. However, at the age of 45, the IT crowd catches on and even starts to slowly overtake the factory workers. And finally, while IT folks get to the salary of $300,000 already at the age of 50, Factory workers might reach this kind of wealth only at the end of their career, at around 63 years old. And the non-overlapping confidence intervals indicate that such difference in salaries is significant. Besides, you can easily change the appearance of your results by changing the default order of predictors and even choose particular values for the numeric predictor. For instance, let's take three salary values, 50, 150 and 300, as we just talked about them, and display our results in a different way. Moreover, type argument allows to create various plot types. For example, we can easily visualize random effects if we want to. It only gets better from here. If we want to explore several dependent variables with the same predictors, we can use plot models function to plot several models at once. In the first code example, we'll use already familiar argument show values and a new one grid, which plots models in separate fields to avoid congestion and overload of information on the same picture. In the second example, we avoid clutter by simply not using show values since we can kind of see them from the x axis and we'll use p shape equals true argument instead in order to display p values as shapes instead of significant stars. Top model can also easily display multiple models. Here, collapse ci equals true argument conveniently puts confidence intervals below the estimates so that we can report several models near each other. By the way, if you want to visualize and test all assumptions of any model with a single function, check out this video about another amazing package created by the same author.